Hi guys, it's Amy and welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so glad to have you here. And today's video is gonna be fun. It is going to be a very chatty video. It will probably be a very long video, but I'm going to be telling you guys all about the fun month that I had uh, from the end of June till now. And it was quite a crazy ride, as I'm sure you will notice as you watch this video. But if you guys like chatty videos and you like get ready with me videos like this, then please make sure that you like this video and also please subscribe. I would really mean a lot to me and I appreciate your support. So let's get into the video. Okay guys, so we're gonna get started. I already did my brows. I already cleaned them up and primed them and all of that jazz. And we're gonna go straight into eyeshadow. So I kind of am using my dress um for inspiration it's got some oranges um some green some uh blue and some um you know deeper like orangey uh orangey tones kind of fiery orangey tones um so that's kind of the look i'm going to go for today and i'm basically going to be using um these juvia's palettes i just got some juvia's place palettes um and these are the magic mini the zulu and the saharan and so i'm going to be kind of dipping into maybe all one or all of these. I'm not quite sure because like I said, I'm using this for inspiration. So yes, this is going to be a chatty video. This is probably going to be a long video. I apologize in advance, but I have had a crazy month. Basically from today, I'm filming this on the 23rd of July. From the 22nd of June to this 23rd of July, I have had a very, very crazy month. Super, super crazy month. So we're gonna kind of talk about that as I go. And this month video is probably gonna be longer, but I have a lot to say and I have some funny stories to share. And I'm telling you, you guys, this is, um, this is gonna be a fun video. So hopefully um, you'll stick with me through the whole thing. But anyways, so we're just gonna get started. I have my little elf mirror. Uh, off here because the Juvia's palettes, not, none of them have mirrors, which I don't know, a lot of people like, a lot of people don't like. For the purposes of this video, I wish they had mirrors, but that's okay. Alas, they do not. So what I'm going to do first, let me, let me decide what color I'm going to do first. I think I'm going to go into the Zulu palette and I'm going to take this orange shade right here and I'm going to be using a Clover Collection blending brush. Um, I will try to list all the brushes down below in the description box because I don't know the number. But I'm going to be taking that orange shade. So I'm just going to dip in there and tap it off. And I'm going to use this as a transition shade. Oh, that's nice. Okay, guys. So let's just start off my crazy adventures over the last month. <laughs> Boy, okay. So the 22nd of June is when I started my vacation. And then um, I haven't been on vacation this entire month, but oh wow, look at that, man, I like that. Um, so that weekend of the 22nd to the 24th was the pandemic convention. And um, man, let me tell you something, that was a crazy, crazy time. Um, I was looking forward to that. If you guys remember, I went on a no buy and I went on a no buy for a reason. Um, build that up, God, that's a nice shadow. Um, I went on a no-buy for a reason. I basically went to the pandemic um, tour in Sacramento, and it was basically like a mini Comic-Con, and we're talking mini. It wasn't like San Diego Comic-Con, which just passed. But I had the opportunity to meet Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and I will put his picture right here. This is the picture that I got taken of him and me, and man, guys, <laughs> that was a very, very cool and awesome experience for me. I have been a big fan of his for quite some time. So I got to meet him and that was crazy. So let me let me just pick another shade uh, real quick. Let me let me see what we're gonna do next. Um hmm. I think I'm gonna take Jamila, which is this shade right here in the Saharan palette. And I'm going to take that on another crease brush. I'm gonna take that on the e.l.f. um crease brush because it's a little bit smaller and less fluffy, not as fluffy as the um the Clever Collection brush, grab my mirror. Okay, so anyway, um, first and foremost, I got to meet him in an autograph session, and then later on I got to take my picture with him. And um, when I met him in the autograph session, I told him the story about the um, time that I went to go see Rampage with my best friend Jennifer, which if I can find that video, I will link it. Um, 
down below or I'll put it in the cards up here if you see a card that's that video where I was talking about um, how I went and saw Rampage on his birthday and he thought that he got a big kick out of that and he thought that was really funny and so I because I was so nervous I was like what am I gonna say to him and so I just said I'm gonna tell him the story if I have time and I did and he wanted to listen to the story and when I was telling him the story he was looking at me and he was holding my hand and it was really really nice because I was totally comfortable and I didn't make a total idiot of myself but because I was really afraid that that was gonna happen and as uh, I left that autograph session he asked me he goes are you gonna take are we gonna take a picture later and I said oh yeah we are and he goes okay I'll see you then and I'm like okay bye bye and so then of course I got to take my picture with him and that needless to say was quite quite awesome so you saw the picture um, yeah it was a really really amazing experience and I will something that I will never forget so let me just go and see what color I'm gonna do next and just hang tight okay I'm gonna go back to Zulu and I'm going to dip into this brown shade this might look kind of basic at first but we're gonna do a bright lid so have no fear this will be a juvious look um, it's kind of neutral in the crease with the orange and the brown but keep stick with me people it, it'll be fine so I'm gonna take um, my Luxie brush this um, kind of taper brush like I said I will list um, list them in the description box if I can remember or find all the numbers I love this brush it's a nice pointed um, kind of detail brush and so there's that okay so um, that was like cherry meeting him was cherry I was just like God God Almighty um, he's a very very gorgeous man and I and I truly am a huge fan um, so anyway but it gets better. Uh, well, I don't know if it could get any better than that, but I got to meet some other people too. Um, and I didn't get any pictures because you really had to pay for pictures. Um, and I could only afford to pay for my picture with uh, Mr. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. So um, anyway, alas, I, I digress. Um, so to make a long story short, uh, I got to meet, also meet Chandler Riggs, who plays Carl on The Walking Dead. I will not spoil anything for you, but he is definitely now one of my favorite people in the entire world. And I mean, I'm not putting that, I'm putting that, I'm not sounding an understatement. I got to talk to him quite a bit during that weekend, um, just kind of by chance, and he is dipping into that brown again. I think I can see what people mean by you kind of have to pack these on before you blend them out, because you really have to get that color in there. They blend nice, but maybe get a little bit of a packing brush. Let me see if I can find a packing brush. Uh, is that one? Let's see. Hold on just a second. Where's my wet and wild brush? Okay, my little wet and wild brush. I'm going to get under that, that um, brown in the Zulu. And then we're really going to pack that on the outer corner. Okay, so I got to meet Chandler Riggs, and he is just so nice and sweet and humble and genuine and adorable. The kid is adorable. Let me tell you that. He's so cute, and um, he's 18, and he just, he was there at Fandemic. He had a panel where they actually interviewed him and um, asked him a lot of questions about being on The Walking Dead and growing up on The Walking Dead, because when he started the show, I think he was like 9 or 10. And um, just a super sweet kid, and um, I really enjoyed talking to him. I also got to meet Michael Rooker, and if you guys don't know who Michael Rooker is, he was in The Walking Dead. He played Merle, and he was also in Guardians of the Galaxy, and he played Yondu, the guy that the blue guy. <sighs> he is hilarious. He is hilarious. He's all over the place. He's all over the map. I actually got some video of him. Uh, and, and Chandler during their interview sessions, and they didn't have an interview session with Jeffrey and. Um, and Norm, Norman Reedus. I guess they're too, <laughs> they're too, uh, they would get mobbed if they had an interview session. Those guys had security around them because they are definitely um, popular. This is very messy, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to clean that up. Okay. So anyway, that was just a really, really great weekend. I also got to meet James Marsters from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that show or familiar with James Marsters, he plays Spike on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. My girlfriend Martina 
um, is a big fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So we got to meet him, and he has a band, so we went to his show after um, after Fandemic on Saturday. So that was just a huge day. And But like I said, meeting Jeffrey Dean Morgan was the best. And yeah, it was just amazing. So I'm going to dip back into Jamila, which is that second shade that we used on my crease brush. And I'm just going to blend out that, that um, all those shades, just to kind of make sure they're nice and married together. Okay, so then pandemic ended, and the following week we had um, breakaway with Delilah's, uh, with our church, breakaway camp, which is the church kids camp. So let me decide what uh, color I'm going to use on my lid, and then we will continue with this video. Hold on just a second. Okay guys, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna use this green on my lid. It's a pretty shimmery green. And I'm first going to um, kind of um, not cut my crease a little bit, but I am gonna lay down some concealer and kind of clean up my lid. So, and then I'm going to put that color on over my lid. So we're just gonna go back. I'm gonna grab me um, a concealer brush. Where's my concealer brush? There it is. I'm gonna grab a concealer brush. This is my Luxie brush. It's a nice flat um, pointed concealer brush. So, and it's also a lid brush. You could use it for either or. And I'm going to basically, I think, let's see. I'm going to take my Milani Retouch and Erase Concealer and I'm just gonna put a little dab of it on the back of my hand. Just a dab will do ya. Does anybody know what that's from? Just a dab will do ya. If you're old like me, <laughs> you know that that was a catchphrase. If you guys know what that was a catchphrase for a, or a slogan for, then put it down in the down in the comment bar because um, that'll that'll really give me a clue as to <laughs> if I'm aging myself or if you guys know what I'm talking about because it's it's a little dabble do you okay so a little dabble do you we're gonna um, dip into that that concealer and we're going to place it on the lid just below the crease but take it all the way up to the crease and try not to get too messy with it I'm not super proficient at this, but I use that point to kind of make a moon, that moon shape, that crescent shape. It's a little messy right here, so try to smooth that out. And I just like to go like two-thirds of the way with that. And do you see how just that kind of cleans that up a little bit? Okay, so there we, we have that. All right, all right, so then I'm just going to take um, my BH Cosmetics brush, just kind of blend that a little bit so it's not super, super intense in terms of like its tackiness, because we want it to be a little bit tacky so that that blue can stick down, but I just wanted to make sure that I had a good clean um, lid when I uh, did that. So basically I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wipe that I'm going to use the other side of that brush, the clean side, and I'm going to dip into that green, that green that I showed you guys we were going to use, this green right here. I'm going to dip into that green, and I'm going to spray my brush with some Cover FX setting spray. This is the dewy one, the one that's a little bit more glittery. I can't use it on my face. I think I told you guys that once before. And I'm just going to press that. Ooh, it's pretty onto my lid. You're gonna probably have to go in a couple times with this, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I like the Juvia's Place shimmers, but I find that I have to pack them on a little bit, which is not a problem. I ain't mad at it. Now, see that concealer really helps um, lay that down. Okay, so getting back to the story, guys, okay. So, just putting that down, kind of concentrating, sorry. Okay, so pandemic happened the 22nd through the 23rd, and so the 24th. So the 25th through the 29th was our church summer camp for kids, uh, for kids K through uh, sixth grade. And Delilah, my little girl, who is going to be in third grade, went to camp, and I worked at camp as security. Here's a picture of us right here. I'm in a pink shirt. Delilah is in a yellow shirt, and this was taken by my girlfriend Darlene who, thank God for that, uh, my friend Darlene Long, who was my security captain 
loved her, loved working with her, and I really, really enjoyed this camp. I was a little bit uh, through with it <laughs> on Thursday, I'm not gonna lie. I, oh yeah, building that up, adding a little bit more definitely intensifies it. So you see we got Juvia's lid going on, guys, okay? Um, so I was security and Delilah was a camper and that was super, super fun. I enjoyed that a lot. Okay, so then I think what I'm going to do just to kind of maybe blend those two shades just a little bit is I'm going to take a flat brush. This is just one of those Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, this could go really bad really fast. There's Anast this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that kind of probably came in my modern Renaissance palette or my Mario palette, and I'm gonna use that, that, that shader side, not the blending side, and I'm gonna grab this green right here next to that uh, in the Zulu palette. I'm gonna grab that shade. So we mostly worked with the Zulu palette in this one, obviously, you guys, <laughs> which is the one that I wanted the most. I don't know if you guys remember the video that I did about the power rankings. I will link it right here. I got four palettes. I have three of them in front of me, and I got four palettes, and I um, got my top four palettes that I said in that video. So here's that video linked right here. So I'm super excited because actually the Zulu, I think, was my number one palette. So I'm using that quite a bit in this video. So I'm going to take that matte shade and I'm going to kind of dot it between that and the brown, kind of on the outer part of that shimmer. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea, but I wanted to I wanted to uh, add a little bit of a transition between the brown and the green. So I don't know. You guys might think it looks a little cray cray, but that was my plan. That was my goal here. I just wanted to use that shade. Pretty pretty color, pretty color for sure. And I'm gonna flip that brush over. And I'm just going to take it the clean side and kind of dab it between the two greens. Okay. So there's the eye look. I'm really I'm going to do one more little blend blend a Rooney here. I'm going to take my um, Luxie brush into the brown, kind of blend it up over the top, keeping it mostly on the outer portion of my crease in the outer corner. And then I'm going to take my Luxie brush again, not my Luxie brush, my Clever Collection brush that has no product on it. And I'm going to swoop it over. Okay, so church camp went really well. And kind of towards the middle of the week, I was like, I'm never doing this again because it was crazy being around all those kids all week. And a lot of teenagers who were helping, they just riled the kids up. And it was fun, but it was just a lot. It was kind of a, um, kind of stressful. So anyway, but that last day, I really just decided to go for it and have fun. I let the kids spray me with the water guns. I let them... I played in the bubbles with the kids. Um, I just had a lot of fun towards the end of the weekend and uh, towards the end of the week. And so I really, really got into it. So what I'm going to do now um, is I'm going to probably do my other eye. I'm going to do it off camera and then I'm going to come back. We'll clean it up and we'll do the rest of the face and I will tell you guys the rest of the story. Okay, hang in there. Okay guys, we're looking like a hot mess. I got both eyes on now and you can probably see that I need to clean it up. So I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe. I'm gonna wrap it around my finger and I'm gonna wipe underneath my eyes to catch any fallout. I don't see much, but I'm just gonna take it along the edge of that shadow and just make sure that it's cleaned up a little bit. I don't know that I'm gonna do any liner today. If I do, I'm probably gonna have to clean it up again. So I'll keep this wipe handy. I clean up my eyeshadow like three times throughout the course of its its life. Okay, well, hang on one second before I go any further. I'm going to um, dip back into the Zulu palette. I'm going to get more uh, of that brown on that um, Lexi brush, and I'm going to really deepen this crease a little bit more because I don't think it looks even. And then we're going to have to clean up again. Okay, so guys, basically, that's looking a little bit. A little bit better okay maybe just do a little blender roux just make sure that that's not too harsh take that little wipe again that wipe and we're gonna run it along the edge see it's a lot of a lot of uh, brown there 
Just want to make sure that it's cleaned up. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the face. So, okay, so pandemic, church camp, volunteering, very overwhelming, but very rewarding at the same time. And so a few days after church camp ended, um, my uh, the day after church camp ended, I think two days after church camp ended, my relatives from Canada flew in for my mom and dad's 50th wedding anniversary. And guys, that was a great anniversary party. My parents have been married for 50 years and it was just a beautiful celebration of their marriage and we had so much fun, but my relatives flew in from Canada. And hang on one second, one second. I think I just dropped something on the floor, but I don't know what it is. Okay, so my cousin David and his wife Karen and their daughters, Catherine and Elizabeth, who are twins, came to visit us from Grand Prairie, Alberta, Canada. And David is my mom's nephew. So, and he's probably my closest cousin in terms of the cousins that I actually talk to. And I really only have two on my mom's side. I have a few more on my dad's side. But David and I have always had a special connection, even though we didn't grow up together. Um, so it was really, really awesome to see them. And we just had a whole week of fun. So if I can, right now, I'm going to try and link the video of my parents dancing. So I'm gonna just pause for a moment and let you enjoy this. And if it doesn't load, then I'm just going to move forward with this video. Hopefully you guys will see it. I'm going to insert it um, right now and just enjoy them dancing because uh, and just see how cute that they are so here you have it aren't they adorable aren't they adorable um hopefully you guys saw that video um i'm not quite sure editing is still a bit of a challenge for me but those were my parents and they are amazing and so we had a big party for them on july 1st i'm going to start doing the rest of my makeup let's do some primer um i'm going to use my Too faced hangover primer and I'm just going to get a pump and I'm going to basically put, focus it on the center of my face. I'm not so much concerned about the outsides of my face. I just want to focus it on the center. I don't really need a mirror for this. Just kind of press it into my nose. This isn't poor feeling. This is more of a sticky primer, but it's also hydrating, which I really don't need the hydration. I mean, I probably do. I moisturize but It does provide a good base for my foundation and I find that it really works well. Okay, so the foundation that we're going to pick, and I'm just going to go um, with my e.l.f. foundation today. I don't feel like dealing with my Wet n Wild foundation, which I'm really liking, but it has that stupid paddle. So I'm just going to pump some on the back of my hand, do a pump, maybe a pump and a half. And I'm going to take my um, e.l.f. foundation brush, and I'm just going to draw that on. So I'm going to look in the viewfinder for that part. Then I'll make sure that it's even. So anyway, we had a party for them on the 1st of July, and um, it was amazing. We had it at the Croatian American Cultural Center, and uh, I'm Croatian, and so basically we had the party there, and just so many friends from throughout my parents' life were there, people that I've known my whole life growing up, and it was just a really, really neat treat, and to have family there as well. We had some other relatives fly in, um, from we had one come in from Kansas City we had some others come in from uh, other parts of California and of course Karen and David came from Grand Prairie Alberta so it was just a really really special occasion my mom's actually my mom's roommates from when she moved to San Francisco back in her 20s were there and a couple of them and so that was just a huge treat to be able to meet all these people and actually celebrate my parents so that was a fun party so uh, let me just blend this in with my brush. So anyway, so Karen and David stayed for a week and basically the day after they, um, the day after the party, we went to uh, the water park and we have a really cool water park here in California, in Northern California called Golfland Sunsplash. And I took Karen and David and the kids there last time they were here about five years prior. And I took them again and we had a blast. And uh, this is a photo of us at the water park. Yeah, so, you know, don't mind my janky no makeup face, but when you were went to the water park, you're not gonna wear makeup. But anyway, those are the kids and David and Karen and I. And we had a lot of fun and um, basically just spent a whole day at the water park. So throughout, throughout um, their visit, we did a whole bunch of things. We went on a hike in Nevada City. Um, we went zip lining. Check this out. Woo -woo, that's me on the zip line. 
and that was terrifying um but i had a good time because we had uh two of the guides with us and they were both adorable and they made it really really fun and um so it was a lot of fun and so i went with karen and david and the kids and it was in sonoma county so that was really really beautiful and i was terrified i was terrified because you know i was like lord please don't let this thing snap or don't let me fall um you know because it's a zip lining whoop sorry so anyway and so then we also went wine tasting and we went wine tasting in amador county i live in a really cool region of california because sacramento is not like super super cool place but it has its charms and it has things all around it so there's lots of things to do and you know uh, i live near Folsom Folsom lake and all these good things and san francisco is not that far away though i don't really like san francisco as much as i used to um that's definitely around you can go to tahoe and whatnot um but anyway it was just a really really exciting week and then they left and then we had a breather except delilah was out of school um so we had a lot of uh you know and I had to go back to work so we had uh you know it was very busy in terms of trying to keep track of her and going back to work and doing all of that jazz so um, I'm not really concentrating very much right now on my makeup, so let me just take a look. Make sure it doesn't look too janky. It doesn't. Okay, so then I'm going to take my Tarte Color Corrector. I've been using this a lot recently, and I'm going to take it on my ring finger. And I'm just, I don't really like this packaging. I wish it was different, but what are you going to do? And I'm going to dab that kind of in the inner corner under my, my under eyes and just get that nice and gonna get that on the other side I've been using this a lot recently I really find that it's very hydrating and kind of uh, creamy so it makes my eyes not only color corrected but it makes them kind of extra moisturized too which I'm down for okay and so then wipe that off then I'm going to take my uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and actually I'm going to kind of dot that concealer in with this little tiny cute super cute Real Techniques complexion brush and I'm gonna kind of dab that in just a little bit just dab it in because I'm also gonna blend concealer over it okay so I'm gonna take my Instant Age Rewind concealer okay so back to my story um, so I had to go back to work. Delilah was out of school, and um, so it was kind of a challenge um, because we didn't have her school program wasn't available to us. So we had we had to you know sometimes I had to stay up. Sometimes my husband had to you know you know do things with her in between meetings. But for the most part, she was able to just kind of watch her movies and just have a good time, just you know entertaining herself. But the World Cup was also on, and so, of course, that was exciting for me because my country of origin, uh, Croatia, um, my mom's side is Croatian, they made it all the way to the World Cup finals. So they were in the World Cup finals. Here is a picture of me, my girlfriend Marina, and Delilah, and we went to the viewing party for um, the finals against France. And it was at the Croatian American Cultural Center, still the same uh, place that my parents had their wedding anniversary party. And so that was a lot of fun. So let me just blend that in with that same brush that I used to blend in the, um, blend in the uh, color corrector. So just blend that in and uh, do you see that? And then I used that foundation, or not foundation, I used that concealer to kind of also kind of carve out the sides of the eyeshadow. So anyway, so Croatia lost, and that was super, super devastating, and uh, very exciting that they made it, but sad that they lost, and so that's basically been the last few weeks, because I think the World Cup was not this weekend, but it was the weekend prior, so just imagine three weeks of craziness, so it's pandemic, church camp, my relatives being here, the World Cup, it was just craziness, it was total craziness. So I'm going to set my face real quick. I'm just going to, let's see, I'm going to use this little brush right here, which is another Real Techniques 
brush. I think this is sold in a large size. Size. If these brushes are not available anymore, uh, if they are available, I'll link them. If they aren't, I'm sorry. I think this one is available in a larger size. I don't know about the one with the rose gold handle. So I'm going to take the slanted one. Oh, before I do that, let me set my under eyes. Okay, let me set my under eyes. I'm going to use this um, uh, Royal and Ling Nickel Moto Brush uh, with my CoverGirl Advanced Radiance. So needless to say, it was kind of a busy time and Delilah is back in school now. So I'm able to finally get back to filming a little bit more, which was a real challenge uh, with all the things going on. Uh, and with her being out of school, I really had a hard time filming videos. You guys probably noticed that, sorry. Um, life of a mom and full-time postal employee sometimes does not, is not uh, conducive to filming. So anyway, there's that. So let me just get my little brush back out, my little um, Real Techniques brush back out and load that bad boy up with some um, Maybelline Fit Me powder. I like pressed powder. That's not the uh, loose version. And I'm just going to kind of press that in to the rest of my face. And uh, kind of where my pores are, my pores are the largest and maybe right here on my forehead. And then what I like to do is I like to take a bigger brush. This is just one of these Morphe gunmetal brushes and it doesn't have a number but it came in that set. And so basically what I do is I set the rest of my face with this brush. So the rest of this video isn't going to be as chatty. We're just going to run through the rest of the steps real quick. So I'm going to take my bronzer. This is the Pure Glow Together Bronzer, which honest to God is the best bronzer ever and it was limited edition. If you guys would like to see a video about limited edition products I wish were permanent, please leave a comment about that in the down bar. But this is beautiful. It's three matte shades, three shimmer shades, and you can kind of just swirl it all together. And I actually like a satiny, um, glowy bronzer. And I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush for this. It's so pretty. I'm going to go for it today with a more glowy blush, and we're going to use Luminoso. I haven't used this in a while, and I'm going to use it on this Morphe brush, this uh, M535. I'm going to really pack that brush with that bronze, that bronzer, that blush, tap it off, and we're going to give our cheeks a nice glow today. Mm -hmm. Nice glow, peachy glow. A little bit more. I've been really into blush. <laughs> really just kind of getting that real good flush on the cheek. It doesn't matter what the color is, but I think that, uh, blush, heavier blush needs to make a comeback. I don't know about you, but sometimes I can't tell if I have a blush on or not. So I really just kind of throw it on there. Not because they're not pigmented, but I just like that extra color. <laughs> blush. Next, I'm going to take my Ofer highlighter in Rodea Drive. Looks like this. Beautiful highlighter and uh, load up my little, that's oh, a lot of powder. These are powdery, be careful. <laughs> On my little uh, highlighting brush from uh, Royal Only Nickel. And I'm just gonna add that. Ooh, damn, <laughs> that's a lot of highlight. Oh well, let's just go for the, let's go for the gold since it's gold, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna spray a sponge with a little bit of my Mari Badescu water. I don't want it super saturated, and I'm just going to run that over the highlight just to kind of blend it into the skin a little bit more. It's going to be really intense. I'm going to add a little bit of eyeliner, but I'm not going to show you guys because filming this would be a catastrophe, but I'm going to go ahead and add that. Finish the lower lash line, add a lip, and we will be finished. Okay guys, eyeliner is on. I'm going to take um, that dark brown shade on a flat definer brush. And I'm going to just kind of tap that into the brown from the Zulu palette, that last, that outer corner shade that we had. I'm going to press that up to my lower lash line. Only going in about two-thirds of the way. Or maybe even halfway. Slightly two-thirds, I think. Okay. Just get that deeper color. This is how I like to do my lower lash line. I like to start at the lash line and then blend down as opposed to 
putting the lighter color first. I don't know why I do that, but that's just the way I do it. Then kind of dust off that um, defining crease brush that we had from Lexi and take it into the um, orange shade that we used as our transition shade. I just kind of brushed off the excess color. I didn't use like, um, uh, what you call it, Cinema Secrets or anything like that. I really don't find that that dries brushes as fast as people say. That's just my personal opinion. I'm going to dip into that orange that we used as our transition shade. Make sure you really top that off. Uh, let's see. And then I'm going to run it along the lower lash line just to kind of blend out that brown. And kind of tie in that crease with the the upper crease. Okay, we're going to add a lip color. This lip color is not super summery, but it's more of a brownish lip color, but I thought it would tie in nicely with the brown crease. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be boring and we're going to do a brown lip, uh, but I love brown lips. I know that I'm in the minority with that, but we're going to use the shade Grunge from ColourPop. You don't even need a liner for these lippy sticks. They're great. So there you guys have it. There's grunge. And that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I hope you enjoyed my story time. I know that this was a long video. If you have stuck with me till the end, I really, really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye.